Live from Lansdowne Street, it's Band in Boston! Billed as the funniest fundraiser in town, it's Boston's very own Saturday Night Live style evening of music, skits, and satire, starring politicians like Governor Charlie Baker and Attorney General Maura Healey. Titans of industry, like Red Sox President Sam Kennedy, Draft King CEO Jason Robbins, and Wayfair co-founder Stephen Conine, and media types like Car Talk's Ray Magliozzi, the Boston Globe's Shirley Liang, and WGBH's Emily Rooney and Jared Bowen. You may also recognize the co-hosts with Jim Browdy and Marjorie Egan returning to the stage for the third year, all to raise money for Urban Improv, a local nonprofit which uses theater and performance to empower youth and drive social change. Jim sat down with a few other of this year's participants, but before we get to them, let's check out a little clip from last year's event. And don't be alarmed, it starts with the lights down, a little behind the scenes, if you will. Now, Marjorie. Yes, Jim. When he gets here, mm -hmm. you have got to be tough. Jim, if you let me get one word in before you interrupt <laughs> Whatever, me. Marjorie. Governor, some very serious charges have been leveled Marjorie, against you. Marjorie, Marjorie, I will handle this. Governor. Some very serious charges have been leveled against you. So let's just get to it if we can. Oh my God, that's exactly like our radio show. <laughs> Joining me are Aerosmith bassist Tom Hamilton. Tom, great to see you. Thanks for being here. Musician Sally Taylor. Hi, Sally. It's a pleasure. And comedian and Democratic candidate for lieutenant governor. That's you, Jimmy Tingle. That's me. Okay, let's get some, nice to see all three of you, by <laughs> the way. To see you, Jim. So you're a comedian turned politician, which is sort of the same thing. You're two high profile performers. I don't want to give people the wrong impression. The vast majority of people who perform at this thing have absolutely no talent. Is that not correct? <laughs> I would say, you know, uh, we mumble between the two of us. We just yeah. like, oh, oh, I'm not Lord, talking about you. you. Like the that. CEOs, the yeah. they have no talent. Is that not correct? Well, I mean... Uh, <laughs> most of them. No, mo most people... Right. None. None. Zero. No, but Zero. There are a few that yeah. are... Like, there's a um, couple of people who are amazing singers. Yeah, but they're and real there singers. Is, and a, I mean, a couple of the amateurs can actually sing, is what you're saying, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And there's a little impromptu acting class, like five minutes before stage. So, you know. We're, that's all you yeah. need. Yeah. Trust yeah. me, they have no talent. Do you disagree they, with that? They have huge hearts, too. Oh, oh, that's so that's beautiful. beautiful. Oh, that's the point of the event. But you're so honest, talent, i got to yeah. ask you. When you see somebody <laughs> yeah. like Maura Healy, the yeah. Attorney General, she has talent. Or Sam Kennedy, who's the president of Red Sox. And when right. you, do you say to yourself, oh, my God, or do you say it's for a good cause so I can tolerate I this? I say it's for a good cause, and everyone gives them big uh, kudos for just being there. They step up. It's, you know, it's hard acting, being on stage, going over a script, trying to be funny. Uh, it works great. The audience loves it. They love seeing people in yes, different roles. Yes, they do. Roles. I agree with They that. love seeing people in different roles than they used to see in a minute. Before we talk about the thing itself, yeah. can we talk about the cause for a minute? Mm -hmm. Tell people what Urban Improv attempts to do, and they raise a ton of money thanks to things like Tomorrow Night. What do they do exactly? Their, it, their website is actually a rehearsal for life. Mm -hmm. You know, so basically they're teaching these underprivileged kids or you know, less sort of resourced kids, how to deal with life when it comes thrown at you, which it is for these kids. And you're lucky if, you know, you get handed down a, a tool belt from your parents and teachers, et cetera, that has anything more than like, you know, some scotch tape and a, you know, big old tape, tape measure in it, you know. And so this is an opportunity for these kids to be given some tools for life on life's terms. Through improvisation, are you surprised that, I mean, they've helped thousands and thousands of kids over 25 years. Are you surprised that improvisation helps kids deal with violence, with conflict resolution? Does that surprise you at all, Tom, or no? Well, um, kids, they're so far into their imagination that they can really get it pretty quickly. And, um, you know, what it is is, say a kid is, in, is with his peer group, and the hero of the peer group shows up with a gun one day. And, and everybody in the, is, is impressed, like, wow, that's really amazing. What do you do if you're not impressed and you want to get the hell out of there? Mm -hmm. How do you do that? How, how can you do that without being rejected and, and all the other consequences? And that's what they train and, kids and to and do. And they train kids to rehearse a scene where that might happen. And this is, they've had huge success. I mean, this is like yeah. a long-term thing. This is not like a Johnny-come-lately to this. No, no, no it's 25 years. It's 25-year anniversary. And the thing that the kids love about it, it's fun. So it's fun, it's interactive, it's play acting, it's theater. A lot of them is first time ever on stage. Mm. Uh, and I went in and sat in a couple of sessions last year. Oh, you did? Yeah. 
And that's where you really get a feel for uh, how influential it is with the kids. Because the kids come there, and all of a sudden they're in a different role. It's anti-bullying, anti-violence. Yeah, uh, and it, it shows a real camaraderie, and the teachers love it. And the, kid, and the teachers are only fairly young as well. Okay, so let's talk about the show itself. Yeah. People come tomorrow night. First of all, it opens with their cocktails yeah. and a tasting. Great restaurants, Pammy's, Eastern Standard, Bully Boy Bully Distillers, Boy. who are oh. these young brothers who I love. Here's a little piece from last year. This woman is actually a professional. So Kathy St. George is doing, I think you'll figure this out, Kellyanne Conway. Here's just a little piece. It's not lying or denying when relying on alternate facts. Sure, they gag me. Ah, but look, just like the flu, I'm back. The more things change, the more they remain yeah. the same. So, yeah. so give us a sense of like this hour and a half or two hours. What do people get besides things like that? So, you know, we're all huddled backstage, as you know, and there's mm -hmm. sort of as many people backstage as there are <laughs> in, the, in the front of it. Yeah. And, you know, what people are seeing and what they're, what they're paying for besides this incredible opportunity to give to kids is this really un, unplanned, unrehearsed, uh, raw, untalent I guess. Untalented uh, talent. Uh, untalented that's exactly, untalented exactly. talent. That's just off the cuff. Hidden I mean, I, I think I just, I actually just got the script today. It's happening What are you doing? Tomorrow. Are you allowed to say or is I that a violation I'm allowed, of some allowed, Are you guys going to like, oh. what are you doing? I don't know if Come I can directly do it. Yeah, just say it. Go ahead. So I'm Weight Watchers person number one. You are? Okay, yeah, I'm Weight, not, I'm weight Watchers. Obviously, it's worked, you know. <laughs> I should say that. I'm just speaking for myself. And what are you doing, Tom? Do you know what your deal is? Oh, were you going to tell me more about it? No, that was it. And what are you doing? I just found out I have two roles. Oh. My main role is uh, Bill Belichick. Well, you look very much like him, <laughs> I should say, body type. Without even reading this, the, uh, <laughs> the script, I've memorized my lines because all I have to do is mumble. Oh, that's right. That's, that's what it says on the script. It mumble. says mumble? Yeah. You want to do a little piece of it or no? <laughs> that's uh, actually... The pre I hate the press. The press <laughs> And then, um, what's your other thing? What's your other the other thing? one I just found out is, I mean, I'm part of a uh, meeting of a support group for emotional support animals who are fed up with the way they're treated. <laughs> That's actually yeah. pretty funny, yeah, I should know, say. So what are you doing? You did a film last year that I yeah. have to say, I, you think I'm just BS. Your film was a riot. It was brilliant. Thank you. What are you doing was, this year? Last year was Make Massachusetts Great Again. I remember that. That was, was last brilliant. year. Yeah, this year it is Make Massachusetts Number One Again. Are you, is that really yeah. true? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we slipped to eight. We want to get back to number one. <laughs> oh, that's right. That is yeah. right. We did slip down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How'd you get involved in this thing, by the way? I what? got asked. Last year, I asked uh, Vinny Stragas from Flag Day Productions, mm -hmm. a guy I made a film with uh, called The American Dream. Anyway, he asked me, Jimmy, I do this every year. Do you want to help out? So I said, sure. So that's how I got involved in that. Last year, I was involved in a couple of the skits and also did the ask, I know the money, did. the ask. You were fabulous. Yeah. Well, how about you? I loved it. it. How'd you get involved in this thing and how long have you been doing it? Christina and Patrick Lyons uh, sort of called me up one day and said, hey, what about being involved with this incredible organization How long called Bands and Band Possum. That was four years ago? Do you think it's been four or five mm -hmm. years? Sounds about since right. Seeing me around? Yeah. yeah, so about four or five years ago, they they said you need to go and, and check why do you out. Do, why do you do it? Well, I mean, that's, busy. Uh, that's, that's exactly it, is that when they said, you know, go come be a part of this, I said, well, what is it? You know, show me a class. And so they invited me to go to the, their class, and there's Merle Perkins being mm -hmm. utterly fantastic with these kids and basically showing them how to act and, and be in situations that are really, for anybody, let alone mm -hmm. these kids, completely unmanageable. And Tom, how'd your involvement start and why? You have a big smile on your face. <laughs> why? What's the deal? <laughs> oh, I'm thinking about how long ago it was. Um, it how was, long was it? It was at least 20 years oh, ago. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. And how yeah. did it happen? Well, the, my band was off the road for an extended period of time, and I what told band? my manager, look, I love comedy, I love SNL, I've always loved it since Red Skelton back in the, in the 50s. Me too. Can you please find me something in Boston that where I can participate in that? And so, you know, my manager, being not from Boston, uh, called, made a few phone calls and, and found this. And um, I, I said, okay, great, I'm in it. And um, I got the part of the Unabomber. And there's, there's a <laughs> scene with, uh, that, I'll tell you. with, uh, <laughs> with uh, Mike Barnacle. Oh, and, um, um, and it was a blast. And then, you know, I found out it wasn't really the hip, the hip, a comedy troupe. It was a one-year, once-a-year thing. 
but it was so much fun, and the, the idea of what it was for, and and the the, the idea of what it was, mm. and the, the reaching out of people across cultural lines to try to please help us all I be together. Agree more. I've been honored. By the way, uh, three years, and I was joking. It is huge fun. It is funny. People have a fabulous time. The performers do. The people in the audience do. Tom, can't wait till tomorrow night. It's great to Thank see you. you. Thanks so much, Sally. Thank great to see you. Me. Jimmy, you're the great best. To see you, Jimmy. Hey, and well, you and Marjorie do a fantastic job as the really? host. That's not what you, you told really me last did. year. That's Band in Boston is this Friday, May 11th. The reception starts at 6. The show starts at 7.45. For more info, visit rehearsalforlife.org.